Let's be honest. Most developers aren't designers, and I'm no exception. I can build the components, wire up APIs, launch features, but my apps? They sometimes don't feel right. Clean code isn't enough. Users care about how it feels, how it looks. And that's where most solo devs fall short. But over time, I'm learning how to build products that people actually enjoy using. And you don't need a design degree to do it. In this video, I'll share how I taught myself product design and how you can too. In my early projects, I chased what was cool. Fancy animations, toggles, drag and drop, because that's what I thought good apps had. But the users first wanted functionality. The breakthrough came when I stopped asking what can I build and started asking what hurts for the user. When you start every product idea by focusing on a real problem, something that annoys, delays or frustrates people, everything changes. The UI becomes a tool to fix that pain, not just a canvas to decorate. Every button, every flow becomes intentional. Once you switch your brain from builder to problem solver, you unlock a new level. It's how products go from fun experiments to tools people can't live without. I made more progress cloning real apps or websites than I ever did reading design blogs. Seriously. I'd open up website or app and think, why does this feel so good? Then I'd try to rebuild it, layout by layout, interaction by interaction. And every time I copied something, I learned something. It was never about stealing. It was about learning the rhythm and decisions behind great products. How are states managed? What's the empty state like? How's feedback shown on a failed form submission? You start to spot patterns. You begin to predict design decisions. And that's when it clicks. Product design is a skill you build like any other by putting in the reps. One tool that seriously changed the game for me is Mobin, who are the sponsors of today's video. If you haven't checked it out, Mobin is a curated library of real-world UI patterns from the best digital products. Think Stripe, Revolut, Shopify, Airbnb. But it's more than just inspiration. When I'm building, say, an onboarding flow, I can search Mobin and instantly see how 15 top products structure it. It removes the guesswork. I get inspired and learn best practices without blindly trial and erroring every screen. Mobin has helped me speed up my builds, improve my UX, and most importantly, understand why certain patterns work. For any dev trying to up their product design game, Mobbin is a shortcut you'll wish you found sooner. Check them out by clicking my link in the description below and feast your eyes to the library of incredible design work. Design can't exist in a vacuum. You only really learn what works when people use what you've built. That's why I stopped polishing in private and started shipping faster. The first version? always rough. But I'd ship it, get feedback and iterate. That user feedback is gold. It shows what matters and what doesn't. Sometimes a button you thought was meh becomes a hit. Other times your fancy drop down is just confusing. This loop of build, ship, learn is how I've improved faster than anything else. It's humbling, but it's also exciting. Your users become collaborators and you start evolving. Click the video link at the top of the frame to find out why your first 100 users are so important. Here's the secret, you don't need to be a pixel-perfect designer to make your products feel great. Good layout, spacing, typography and contrast do 80% of the work. Just aligning components properly using consistent padding and choosing readable fonts gets you surprisingly far. You don't have to invent new design patterns, use what works. Learn spacing from Mobbin. Use Tailwind system, copy structure from tools you love. Great design isn't about flair, it's about clarity. Make it usable, make it readable, and give every element room to breathe. That's what users care about. Master the 80% and your product instantly feels 10x more professional. Look, I never went to design school. I'm a dev, but I taught myself to build better products by shifting my mindset, studying what works, copying smart, and learning from user feedback. And you can too. You don't need to wait until you know design. Just start. Every project you build, every screen you ship, it's one step closer to mastery. They're going to be rough at the start that is inevitable, but if you don't ship and get feedback, then you don't know what works and what doesn't. Use tools like Mobbin. Reverse engineer the great designs you see. Focus on the problem. If you do that consistently, you'll build products that not only work, but that feel right. Thanks for watching. Keep building and I'll see you in the next one.